Welcome to iLecture Online and today we're going to talk about another topic in algebra called logarithms and we're going to give you a little introduction to what logarithms are and so starting out with this basic concept right here um, let's say we have y as a function of x and in this case y is the log of x and then this b here that's called the base of the log we can have different bases so the general principle is that if y equals the log to the base b of x that is the same as saying that x equals the log the, b, the base b raised to the y power now at first it doesn't seem to mean much but with an example we can show you what that really means so let's say that we have the log base 10 of 10,000 that is equal to 4 because 10,000 is equal to 10 to the fourth power in other words if you take the base and raise it, raise it to y, you should get x back. So, as an example, here we have log of base 5 of 125. So the question is, what is that equal to? What is y equal to? So, in other words, we're looking for a value that if we raise 5, the base, to that value, we get 125. So the question then becomes, 5 raised to what exponent equals 125? And after a little bit of thinking, you can say, ah, that's equal to 3 because 5 to the third power Right? So we can say that 5 to the third power equals 125. So therefore, we can say that y is equal to 3. So this then becomes equal to 3. Same thing over here. We use the base 2, we raise it to some power, and we get 64. So that's what this means. So we take the base 2 and raise it to some power, and we get 64. So what power, what exponent do we need? So when we raise 2 to the exponent, we get 64. And so we know that if it's 2, you get 4. 3, you get 8. 4, you get 16. 5, you get 32. And 6, you get 64. So that means that 2 to the 6th power equals 64. So therefore, in this case, y is equal to 6. So the value here would be 6. And finally, another example here. We're looking for a number right here. So such that when we take the base 3 and raise it to some exponent, we get 81. What is that number right here? And so we can say, well, 3 to the second power is 9, 3 to the third power is 27, 3 to the fourth power is 81. So therefore, the answer is 4. So 3 to the fourth power, that gives us 81. And so therefore, y would equal 4. And the answer here is 4. So that's what the meaning is. That's, what, that's the meaning of a logarithm. So we're actually taking the base, raising it to y, and getting x back. And that's how you can interpret what logarithms are. The best way to understand what logarithms are is to do a whole, different, a whole slew of different kinds of examples. So I'm going to do a few videos to show you different ways of manipulating the logarithm. And by the end of looking at a few of those, I think you'll get the concept of what logarithms are. It turns out that logarithms used to be used before we had calculators to simplify uh, the way we did calculations. Now we don't need to do that anymore because we have calculators, but there's still some applications that are very useful, especially the concept of taking something like this and relating it to that, or taking something like this and relating it to that. There's some very useful uh, ways in which we can manipulate and use logarithms for that purpose. So based upon that, I'll show you some examples and hopefully after a few videos you'll get pretty comfortable with what logarithms are.